I'm Meredith Ochoa, creator of Another Effing Artist, photographer, podcaster, and author of Face Your Shit, Heal Yourself. And these are my top five lifestyle tweaks for becoming pain-free. Number one, heal your gut and do a leaky gut detox. It has been said that all disease begins in the gut. And currently we are just now realizing how true this statement is. Around 80% of people have this, it's called leaky gut. Essentially, it's where the barrier around the small intestines, which is only one cell thick to begin with, becomes compromised or breached. And then it allows everything to pass through the small intestines into the bloodstream and it can go anywhere in the body. This is why all kinds of strange diseases are traced back to leaky gut. When I tested for leaky gut and healed this with my doctor, Dr. Jeffrey Kalins of New Concept Wellness Center, it seriously changed my life. I could not even imagine this is the amount of energy that I actually have. And then I looked back and thought, how was I ever living that way? Number two, work with a functional medicine practitioner. As mentioned above, working with a functional medicine doctor is something I wish I would have employed much earlier in my healing journey. The first episode on my Face Your Shit, Heal Yourself podcast is called What the Hell is Functional Medicine? And it's dedicated entirely to this subject. Definitely go give that a listen. Basically, it puts you first and looks at finding the root cause of your illness rather than symptom treating. Number three it with your pain and ask it what it needs. When I did this and was able to actually go towards my pain instead of away from it, I found that my freedom would be realized through acceptance, acceptance of myself and my body. And it is a never ending journey. Your freedom is claimed by being able to be with yourself, thereby knowing your truth and claiming who you are. It doesn't mean condoning and acceptance doesn't mean stopping wanting to grow or develop or change. It just means having the courage to face yourself or face your shit, who you are and what you are. Being able to be with yourself and not check out through coping mechanisms like positive pump ups, TV, alcohol, drugs. We all know the jam. Number four, self love and shadow work. Stop judging yourself for having pain in the first place. Pain is a messenger. It always carries a message for you. So don't shoot the messenger. It's not the pain itself necessarily, but the meaning we assign on top of it that really causes us suffering. It doesn't mean you are wrong and bad, and it doesn't equal something wrong or bad. If I have a couple of cramps one month, big deal. I take painkillers, I honor my body and what it needs. Many people think that everything has to be perfect and only then can they consider themselves healed. A large part of my healing occurred when I gave myself permission to not have it together all the time. And I stopped being embarrassed about taking pain meds or doing whatever I needed to do for me. Number five, start cycle syncing for females. I started to get my life back and healed my endometriosis after reading the books Woman Code and In the Flow by Alyssa BT. They served as the foundation for my healing and the education of the infradian rhythm, female clock, and cycle syncing methodology. Over the course of about three years after coming across her work, I applied the methodology, I listened to my body, and I healed myself. However, healing is a journey. It's not a destination and you get to decide what healing is for you. There isn't a one time quick fix magic bullet and spiritual or metaphysical practice aren't magic either. You still do the work and when you don't, you feel like crap. You learn new information and you reach new levels of health you couldn't conceive of before. I am reaching new levels of feeling better and better every month and I will continue to, but I didn't have to be where I am today to consider myself healed. It isn't meant to be a quantum leap, and trust me, you wouldn't want it to be. Learn more about my work and pick up a signed copy of my book at my website, MeredithOchoa.com. Thank you for listening and for having the bravery to face your shit and heal yourself. <laughs>